First off, I want to thank everybody who's been posting comments under the first two videos in this series. Uh, you know, the, the comments have just been pouring in. It's been great. And just hearing from you guys and, and knowing what you want to learn and everything has been very helpful for me to make these uh, upcoming videos. Um, what I've been teaching you guys in these videos has really been uh, determined on, on from, from you guys, really. Um, you know, you guys have posted hundreds and hundreds of comments telling me, hey, Marco, I'm struggling with this, which is... You know, how do I make my magic impossible to figure out? Or, you know, how do I overcome nervousness? And, you know, one of the big, big topics is, you know, Marco, how do you get these crazy reactions? How do I do magic where I get freak out reactions? We're going to go over that today. Let's do this. Tight, okay? Squeeze them tight. Squeeze them tight. Tight. Okay. Take your other hand. Put it on top. <laughs> Put your other hand on top. Put this hand on top. Like that. Watch, watch. This one I'm going to do invisible. Watch this. About the same height. About the same height. Watch. I just go like this. Feel that? Look. Just one. No, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I don't believe this. Oh, oh, you doing so it? Amazing. Oh, hey. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's amazing. Yo, no, man. I'm calling back. <laughs> I, I, I always watched that on TV, but never really, in, you know, in, in person. But he was awesome. He did that right in my hand. Put one coin extra in the other, and I'm holding it real tight. I really don't know how he did that. I'm yeah. really amazed. Man, yeah. it's scary, oh, man. Yeah. It's really scary. You don't know right? how do you do that? Yeah. And those, and those was our coins. It wasn't like his, his coin. Our coin. As a matter of fact, where's my quarter? Who got my quarter? Ah, right there. You know, by now, you probably know that I'm actually a professional magician. Now, that's what I do for a living. People pay me every week out of the year, hundreds, even thousands of dollars to come to their events and entertain their guests. You know, I perform for audiences for like Google, uh, the NBA, Saturday Night Live. I perform for children. I perform for old people in nursing homes and everybody in between at private parties. Now, you might be thinking, well, you know, Marco, I don't want to be like you. I don't want to be a professional magician. Well, that's fine. But everybody needs to know some magic, right? When you learn just a few tricks, it's going to completely change your life. Say you're like this kid, right? And um, kind of like the kid in the story, uh, in the ebook e that's, that's under these videos. Um, say you're a kid and you move to this new town. You don't know anybody, okay? You're like 11 years old, whatever. And you go into this new school. You don't know any of the kids. You feel awkward and everything. And you get to... I don't know, recess or something, you go out there and you start doing some tricks. Suddenly, you become the most interesting kid in the school. People are like, whoa, did you hear about that new kid? Yeah, he just moved from, you know, wherever. Yeah, man, he does magic. Oh, yeah, you need to meet him. He's really cool. Let me introduce him to you. You know, when, when you learn a few tricks or you become a magi magician, suddenly everybody wants to become your friend. Say you're a grandfather, right? and you learn a few tricks, magic is going to completely change your life. Because the second you start performing for your grandkids, they're going to see you as the greatest grandfather on the planet. Or you go from just another teacher at the school to the one teacher in the whole school that does magic every Friday, you know, right before class gets out. And then suddenly everybody wants to get that teacher. Everybody wants to be in their class. If you get lame reactions from your magic and people don't freak out, people are going to think you suck. And that is what I'm going to teach you today. How to increase your chances of getting people to completely freak out and go crazy and nuts when you perform magic. I mean, you see me doing some magic on the streets here and people are going crazy. There's certain things I'm doing to increase my probability of getting really great reactions. I'm going to share that with you today. Let's do this. Well, that's just a bunch of bull. I mean, when I started out, I mean, I was, I, I don't have really super coordinated hands. And you don't have to. I mean, just look at the trick in the first video, okay? That trick requires zero sleight of hand. In fact, you don't even touch the cards. You give the cards to, to your spectator and they do everything. And when they do that, at the end, it's, it's completely impossible. Okay, so to get incredible reactions, uh, get people to totally freak out, 
you have to understand there's two types of magicians out there. Now, most of the magicians you see on YouTube are meme magicians. Now, meme magicians are, are magicians that are like, ooh, look at me, look at, look at me, look at how awesome I am, look at how skillful I am with these cards, look what I can do that you can't, you suck. And then you get lame reactions. Because when you make people feel stupid and, and you, you like show off and stuff, people don't care about that. You know, you're not gonna get great reactions from that. What you wanna do is you wanna be a them magician. You wanna make the magic about the audience, okay? Make it about them, involve them, make the magic happen in their hands. You notice when I'm doing coin magic and stuff, first off, I try to borrow as much as, as I can. I can't always borrow everything, but I borrowed some coins from them I did magic with their coins, and then I made the magic happen in their hands, and the reactions went sky high. Now you watch on YouTube, a lot of those guys on YouTube and, and people on YouTube that are that are doing magic with coins or whatever, they don't ever do that. They make the coins do stuff and, and disappear and reappear in their hands, and that's lame. People don't care about that. They want to feel the magic. They want to be involved in it. Um, you know that uh, clip earlier in the video where it shows an old lady levitating an old man? Well, that was an event I did. And the client wanted me to levitate, okay? And they wanted me to do a levitation. And I mean, I could have gone to the event. I could have levitated myself. I could have brought my own assistant and levitated them. But I said, no, if I do that, that's going to be me magic. Instead, what I said, okay, look, I want a really good reaction. I want to really just crush it. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to have your guests levitate each other. And when I did that, I mean, forget it. That just, sh when, when they saw grandma levitating grandpa, it shut the entire party down. I mean, it was, it was a freak out. And that is what you wanna do. You wanna make the magic about them. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you a trick. Well, I'm not really gonna teach you a trick. Actually, you already know this trick. Uh, I taught it to you in the first video, but uh, we're gonna make it even stronger and we're gonna get a better reaction from your audience with it. Now this is what we're gonna do. That's a, that's a pretty good trick. I mean, the, the, the cards are held by the audience. They do everything themselves. The magic's about them. It's happening in their hands, which is great. But we're gonna get an even better reaction, and this is how we're gonna do it. In that trick, we make the four aces come up, but we wanna make it more meaningful. Okay, so what we're, we're gonna do is instead of having the four aces come up, we're gonna have four of a kind come up that are equal to the month that they were born. So what I want you to do is you're going to go out and you're going to perform this trick for somebody, but do it for somebody that you kind of know. Don't do it for your mom, somebody you're really familiar with. Maybe a friend that you that you would know the month they were born. And then what you want to do is you want to stack the, the four of a kind, whatever month. If they were born in uh, April, put the four fours on top. Uh, if they were born in December, put the four queens. Okay. And then give them the cards and, and go through the whole trick. And then once they've cut and dealt through all the cards, have them take their hand like this, hold them over the cards, and then slowly cast a shadow over the piles. And as they're doing that, tell them to think of the month they were born. And then say, oh, like you, like you forgot. By the way, what month were you born? And they're going to say, oh, I was born in April. Say, okay, that's weird. Go ahead, turn over the top card of this pile. And they turn it over, it's a four. That's weird. Turn over the next one. And, and when, when they do that, I'm telling you, the reaction is going to be ten times as stronger as if you just produced four of a kind that just really had you know, no meaning. And the reason why is because it has meaning, okay? It's about them, okay? And, and that really hits them hard inside. It's gonna, and it's gonna make them react and just you know, flip out. So take those tips, apply them. If you have any comments, post them below, okay? Post me a comment below, ask me a question, and I'll be happy to answer it. So, I mean, what have we been talking about here? I mean, how do you learn a few tricks? How do you, how do you become a magician? Well, it's pretty simple. You know, first, you learn how to make your magic impossible. Number two, you learn how to overcome nervousness and stage fright. Number three, you learn how to choose magic uh, that gets really great reactions. And number four, you know, you, you study with a magician. And that's really the whole secret. All right, so it looks like uh, I'm at the end of my rope here. Um, I want to thank you all for watching this series. I hope you learned something. Uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun, you know, going back and forth with comments. And, you know, I hope you enjoyed the free audiobooks and the free uh, ebooks under these videos. Um, you know, I had a lot of fun making those. Um, you know, I hope you learned a lot. I hope you go out and do the tricks I taught you in some of these videos. Um, 
Now, if and I know some of you have been posting me comments, I've been getting emails and stuff. For for those of you who who have been wanting to take this deeper, you want to learn, you know, coin magic and magic with borrowed objects and magic that you can do on stage at a talent show and stuff like that. Um, I am going to be opening up registration for a brand new uh, online magic school home study course. I haven't done this in about a year and a half. So if you're interested in the next video, I'm gonna reveal all the details of that. Uh, just keep in mind, registration will only be open for one week, okay? The reason why is I've got a limited number of spots available. What I've done is I've created a little magic kit for everybody who signs up. And whoever signs up, I'm gonna mail you out your cards, your coins, all your stuff, and we're gonna send it to you in the mail. And I've only got a limited number of those. So also, I'm, I'm gonna try to start the class everybody at the same time. So we need to get everybody in by a very uh, you know, hard date. And then uh, everyone's gonna start at the same time. And you know, one week we're gonna go over this, the next week we're gonna go over this type of magic, and then this, and we're gonna, we're gonna travel through the training together and work through it. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned because in the next video, I'm going to be revealing all of those details on how you can register, and that's going to be out again in about three or four days. So watch in your inbox. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon. And now for the winner of this week's mind reading deck and the autograph poster. So if this is you, go ahead and send me an email after this video and let me know you got this, and we'll arrange for details to get this sent to you. All right, so here it is. Everybody who did the uh, homework assignment and posted a comment below video number two. Here it is. And the winner is... Um, Arise Baki. You are the winner. So uh, go ahead and send me an email. And congratulations.